Hello, guys. Welcome to our channel. Hey. In this video, we're going to be weighing and opening 36 sleeved boost packs from Toys R Us. Yes, I don't even know, you know, Toys R Us because there are Toys R Us doors that closed up in yeah. the past few years. But apparently, their website is is still um, operating. Let's There's get going. There's something funny about this box. It says "Keep out of reach of adults." That's pretty funny. Because these toys are uh, for kids. Yes. Usually, they sell toys that are for kids. Okay. In our last video about weighing eight packs. Eight sleeve booster packs from Which we Kmart got from Kmart. Kmart. Yeah, yes. Kmart. It was pretty fun. And then we have got comment from uh, our viewers. And it was Ask actually sort of a, a video request. Asking us to make a video with more samples, more than eight samples. Yeah. So this time we've got 36, haven't we? Big wrapping. Okay. okay. Stuffed in a big bag. So that's number Can I four. do the writing? Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, every pack. Hey. Put a number on it first. Put zero one. Zero two. Because zero they will three? be all together. Okay. Yes, they will be all together. Thirty six. Yes. Don't smudge the bottles. Thirty one point two, two four. four. Okay. Okay. Last one. Thirty-six. Point. Point two nine. Point two nine. I said point point. Okay. The next step in our plan is to open up these sleeves and mark the the pack inside with the same number, so that we know they come from the same pack. Yes. And then weigh that pack so that later on we will put all this data in our spreadsheet. Okay. So we know all the history of these 36 packs. And okay. then the final step will be opening up the packs. Okay. Okay. Daddy will open these packs and you will put the number down. So put a zero 01 on it and then weigh it. Weighing time. 22.39 Okay, number 36 Number 36 Point two nine. It's gonna be light. No, it's not. Four gonna be seven. Light. Uh, seventy two point four seven. Yep. Okay. Renee, can you group these packs based on their weight? Okay. From point two to three, four, five, six. Okay. So we don't need to worry about this. Yeah, the weight, off the scale, scale is done. So I will cut you know, group these sleeves. Now let's open the packs, which is the exciting oh, part. Oh yeah! There's only one. So we have to look at these two, right? So that's number number 36. No, 36. 34, not 36. Sorry, Matt, I have a curly four. Oh, 34, yes. I have a really curly four. <laughs> Ooh, we got oh, Lum aluminium. aluminium V. Okay. A reverse hollow and aluminium V from the heaviest pack. 
That is oh, I, cool. Is it? Oh, it is the heaviest pack, but I'm surprised because I thought this going to be a, a trainer gallery card. No, it wasn't. Sorry. Oh my gosh, it's a Grandpa V. Oh, we have not okay. Grandpa V. Okay, okay, okay. That That's was cool. Good. That was cool. Okay. Yay. Next one. Oh, the pack can still be. Oh! Oh, it's a Remax! Now a I need to change. We need to change the. Um... It's a Remax. Everybody see this. It's a Remax. Okay. It's our first Kingler Remax. It's a Kingler. It's a Kingler. It's a Remax. Oh, it's a. <gasps> and there's also this trainer oh, gallery. Great. It's all creamy. It's creamy, creamy. So I taught just Torterra and a Oh, uh, that's Hello. another one. Oh, it's double a hit, double Max hit. And a V. Okay, it's a, it's, it's a trainer gallery V Max. Oh, and a V. And great. And a V, and a V, it's and a V. It's supposed to be oh my, quite oh my. heavy, right? It's supposed to be quite heavy. It is quite heavy. All right, will be. Holo and reverse holo. From these. It's a trainer oh, gallery. Oh, Dedene. It's very yeah. shiny and a hollow. Mm -hmm. It's a hollow. Okay. Take a look. Oh my gosh! It's oh, a Charizard! V Max! It's Charizard V Star. Actually. Oh, sorry, yeah. V, v, -Star. v Star, V Star. It's a V Star. It's new. It's new. Oh, wow. Oh, is okay, this, this is, is so definitely so a exciting. big surprise. This I is didn't so thought exciting. We Whoa. were doing an experiment and. We have a big surprise. What? what the other card? Where's the other? The other card? card. Okay, it's a cold one. It's yeah. Just a reverse holo. Wow! Look at that. We pulled our first Charizard V Star. Cool. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> Company has changed. Full art. Wow. Whoa. Charizard's care. The reverse holo and a full art. It's a full art. It's a full art. Okay, okay. Yeah, I gotta keep wow. re repeating. I gotta stop keep repeating that. That's a very complicated sentence. Oh, we almost like we. Wow. We <gasps> only have three oh, packs yeah. without good cards. Entei V oh. and a reverse holo. Okay. Not too bad. We got two Entei V. Cool. In this opening. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. You see this Flareon? Flareon. Oh, it's oh, a good one. So Flareon cute. is really good. It's a trainer gallery. So cute. I love it. This is so one cute. of the most um, favorable trainer gallery cards. It's very cute. The this normal is a one. The solo and the holo. Not bad though. Uh -huh. Okay. It's a holo and a reverse holo. We don't seem to be getting any so other the, ones. The now? rate, the rate has dropped. Oh, it's a Jolteon! Oh, it's Jolteon! A okay, I dropped it. Oops, I dropped it. Uh, Jolteon! Wow! And the non-holo that we have here, just like one. Okay. Mm. Holo, reverse holo. Oh. Reverse holo and holo. Reverse holo and holo. This is holo and this reverse holo. Oh, holo. this is. And I can see an oh, aggro V. I'm gonna start yeah. up, yeah? Oh. It's one of the easy to pull V cards. Oh, Jotion. And a Hamon Holo. This one's got Golok and a Rus Holo Escabalia. This video. Axorus. Oh, 18. Normal cards. Rus Holo and non Holo Red. 
Um, so nothing in that pack either. Hmm. Oh, good. We got a normal flygon and then a reverse hollow fly. Yeah, just a reverse hollow and a non hollow rare. Back to the the sleeved pack weight yes. instead of the inner pack weight. Huh. On top and Lapras. Okay, no good, no good. Oh, no. Oh, but a V Star card. Good one? Ah, no. No. Just a Mewtwo, Ron Hollow, and a Reverse okay. Hollow. Oh, oh no. But from that that V Star Charizard is such a good surprise. Yes, epic, epic. And it's not from the lightest packs, it's from the uh, heavier packs. Let's hope we get some good cards from these six packs. Yay. V and Nothing? Wow. Yeah. I only care about the cards. Grim Snow and Nothing. Hey, come on. Oh no, it's not. Okay, what nothing. Nothing as well. Come on. No. Come on. Same. Yeah. Oh, a big disappointment from the light packs. Mm. Not a single one. Oh no. Okay, Renee, now that we have logged all the data we got from the 36 sleeved packs, here is the file. Cool. Look, this first column is the number we gave to the packs before we opened them. Yes. And the second is the total weight, which is the weight with the sleeves. Okay. And this is the weight of internal packs without the sleeves. Yeah. So this is the total weight order, which means if it's based on this weight, total weight, what's the position of every pack? In 36 yeah. packs. Then. And this is internal weight order based on the internal pack. So the difference, the difference I want to figure out with or without the sleeves, do their position change a lot? If yeah. some packs change drastically, can we tell if these are done intentionally by Pokemon Company or not? Yes. So this is the sleeve weight by calculation. We, you know, use the total weight to mine and then minus the internal pack weight. It gives us the sleeves weight. Yeah. And this is the cards we pull. The yellow ones are the good ones. Yes. Right. Okay, so what can we see? the first conclusion we can get. The sleeve weight is quite consistent. 8.8 .8. 8 .8 something and you know, not too far. 8.7, 8 .7. 8 .7. Uh, there's an 8.9. 9, but it's quite regular, which means the, um, the order of the total weight doesn't change too much when the sleeves are removed. Mm -hmm. The lighter packs with or without the sleeves are still the lighter packs and the heavy packs remain the same. And then we come to the um, uh, next interesting finding is that, you know, total weight, if we order it from lightest to heaviest, that's the total weight. You can see from the right, these good pulls are from the heavier packs. Yes, See? okay. So these are from number 18. So the first 17 packs, there's no findings. There's no good ones, right? Well, the first 17 lightest ones, yeah. Yeah, the first 17 lightest packs literally gave us nothing. Yes, and the And then starting from the, uh, and starting from the uh, 18s, we have one and then we have another one. This is the bottom. Uh, 24. That's the bottom 13 packs. See? From number 24 to 36. In this 13 packs, we got 12 good cards. Yeah. And this finding is unusual or it's different from what we found before. In the last two videos we made about weighing these packs. 
yeah. with or without the sleeves. Many good cards were found in the lighter packs. Uh, yeah. But in this particular um, analysis, it's very different. Yeah. Because there's literally nothing from the lighter packs, at least lighter half. And then in the heaviest 13, among the 36, we found 12 good cards, including one V-Star. Yes. And the V-Max and the Trainer Gallery V-Max. With a V in that same Yes, time. a V plus a V a Trainer Gallery V-Max, which means it's very heavy. That's normal because we can understand. But previously, the V and V-Star without any other, um, you know, other supporting Trainer Gallery cards, it should be found in the lighter packs. Yes. But in this particular case, it's not. And let's verify that by ordering this with internal pack weight. Ascending order. See, it's almost the same. This is pack number 23. So this is 22. This is 14 packs. 14 packs, we still, we got 12 good cards. Yes. So no matter we weigh this based on the sleeved pack or the internal pack, all these good findings, almost all these good findings are in the heavier packs, yes. which is very interesting. Okay, that's our findings from the data analysis. Let's go back and have a quick recap of the cards we found. Hello, Renee. Let's have a quick recap of all the good cards we pulled from the 36 booster packs. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, these are my turning gallery cards we pulled. Mm -hmm. Yeah, creamy. Da -da -da -da. The Jolteon. and the other Jolteon. Beautiful. Flareon and the Mimikyu V Max. Oh, V Max. Yes, you're right. So six training gallery cards. Yes. Okay, now the cards from the Hollow Red slot. Ante V, Ante V, Kingler V Max, Lumineon V, Agron V, Drampa V, Churn's Care, and Charizard V Star. That's the best. So, again, it's a good pour rate from 36 sleeved individual booster packs. Uh, a little bit better than what we got from a whole booster box. But considering buying these 36 packs, we cost, um, it cost us over $200. Mm -hmm. But a boost box only about 170 Australian dollars. Which means if we can normally pull 12 good cards from a booster box, and this time we pulled 14, yes. the two cards difference can't make up the price, price difference. Yeah. What do you think, Renee? Um, it was... Uh Good pull red eye. That's a mm -hmm. lot of good cards we have. Yes. And most importantly, we got our first Charizard Vista. of brilliant stars from this, this opening. Most of the cards, good cards, are located in heavier packs, which is interesting. We don't know if Pokemon Company has changed their algorithm yeah. in the production. We hope this video helps you. And if it does, please smash the like button and sub consider subscribing to our channel yeah, we will keep making this kind of fun stuff and entertaining stuff and useful content yes so thank you for watching this is so much for our video and thank you for watching we really appreciate it we'll see you next time thank you bye goodbye